do me a favor, go to surplusfundsriches.net, click on products, it's going to make you sign in. So what? You can always unsubscribe from emails or anything else, right? Put your information in, it'll drop you on the products page. All of our products are on there. You can scroll down to the bottom. There's a quick overview called the Insider's Guide of every single program we have. That's your starting point. Now, having said that, if you have pre-purchase questions and you've read that Insider's Guide, give me a ring, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday, 704-791-9398. Please read the Insider's Guide because then you can ask me specific questions instead of, Hey, can you tell me about the business? Well, we don't have an hour to talk on the phone, right? Um, if you read that first, we're going to be able to have an in-depth conversation on specific questions. So that'll work great. But let me tell you some of the questions I've gotten. One of them was, was regarding lists. And I get a lot of people go, is it hard to get the list? Good Lord. Go Google surplus funds list and see what comes up. And guys... Do not get caught up in working just your local area. Work wherever you get a list. It's online from home. People do that all the time. Well, I'm in Pennsylvania, so I'm going to work Pennsylvania. Why? Why? You got 50 states to choose from. If you're going to partner, you got 46, right? I, 47. We don't take, uh, deals from Colorado, Oregon, or Washington state. It's just too difficult to work. Florida is a separate program for us. Uh, simply because the statutes are so different there. But come on, guys. Get wherever you get a list to do that. One of the guys asked me, hey, would it be better, and this is a really important point for you guys, this is not a hard business, okay? But you do have to read the ebook that we provide. It's a new skill set for you. you got to take an hour to read the ebook. And then that has a link with a resources page to a resources page with a password that gets you additional information, uh, video training, updates, good Lord, the independent contractor agreement that protects us both, access to our updated files list. Uh, so the first thing you can do is take your list, double check our list by searching by the names on your file list to see if we actually have received it or not, right? If we're already working it or, or not. So you don't waste time researching something that we already have. But guys, the question was, you know, hey, look, if it's a harder to get list, in other words, it's not readily accessible online, and most of them are, but let's say it's not, isn't that a better opportunity? Absolutely. Because a lot of people are afraid to request a list from the, co the court. Guys, nobody, and I've said this a hundred times, I know you're getting bored of it, but hear me out, because I think it's an important thing to understand. When you're looking at courthouses, calling the court or emailing the clerk or whoever handled that foreclosure or tax sale, whatever, because we work both mortgage and tax overages. But getting in touch with them and asking for a list is not going to make a black helicopter take off, come to your house and arrest you, okay? It's public record information. And yes, this guy said, look, I, I've been trying to start this out before I actually purchased the program. I looked online, I saw there were a lot of lists there, but then I found some counties that there weren't a list on, and I asked for it, and they gave it to me with no problem. Yeah, there's a little more opportunity there because people are scared to call the courthouse, okay? Call the courthouse or email the clerk, whatever, whoever handled the foreclosure. Excuse me. Just get in touch with them. It's easy. Yes, there's more opportunity there. Absolutely there are. There is. Simply because other people aren't asking for a list from that, that courthouse. So that's a big deal. Okay. Another question that I get a lot of is, Sean, I'm hearing from other people that you don't, really don't have to do the research. The tax sale or the mortgage sale foreclosure. Uh, actually kicks out additional debt. So why are you teaching that? Is this just BS? Okay, let me make a really quick point. Do you think that if I could say, hey, you don't have to do any research, just call the person on a list. You don't have to check for debt against the property. You don't think I would do that? You don't think that would sell more books, bring more members in to partner with us, and make everybody's work easier? Of course I would do that. Guys, I'm going to shoot straight with you. I'm going to tell you what's required. It is not hard once you've done a couple of files, okay, researching debt. It's not hard to do that. But, yes, you have to do that. And anybody telling you you don't is full of baloney. One of two things. Either they're just trying to hit and run you and, and sell you a program, or, and that's 
it probably is that. They're just trying to hit and run you and sell your program. Well, look how easy it is. The money fairy is going to drop money underneath your pillow. <laughs> Either they're trying to sell you on that, okay, or they don't have experience. In other words, they got lucky. They got a tax sale overage list. They called a couple people, made the claim, and it worked out great. Well, guys, the first time, and this is why we don't have saturation in this business, the first time you go to make a claim and you're all happy and you try to make a claim on it and you get denied because there's additional debt, then you're going to realize I was telling you the truth, okay? And trust me, it's there. It's there often. Now, look, if it's a $50,000 overage and there's a $10,000 debt, you can still go after forty grand for the claimant. Just that debt has to also be paid, okay? <laughs> so that's important. The last question I get is people go, hey, why do you use a structured buyout? In other words, when I when we deal with people, we hire an attorney every single time, even if there's just forms to be filled out, okay? In addition to hiring that attorney, always having an attorney, they sign a power of attorney to our attorney, not to us. Um, we also have them sign a structured buyout agreement, which means we're going to give the claimant 10% of the gross amount being held by the court up front as good faith money within 14 days after they sign, 10 business days. So typically 14 days after they sign our contracts and we get them back. The reason we do that is I don't get any grief. Everybody is broke after they've been foreclosed on, so they're going to sign this thing in a heartbeat. Now, obviously, I give them more money on the back end, right? Another 40 50%. I pay for the attorneys, which can be 10 uh, to 13%. Obviously, I give them more money than that. But I give them 10% up front. People go, well, I don't want to do that. I understand that. You don't have to do that, Right? Our conversion rate's way higher because people say, look, I've been calling people. I've been trying to put deals together. Nobody wants to listen to me. They say that it's BS. They say that, uh, you know, they don't want to talk to me. I'm a scam. Da, da, da. I'm using an attorney and I'm giving 10% up front. You think they're going to talk to me more than they're going to talk to you using some assignment, which you can only use in certain states. Uh, and that, by the way, the timing on that, your days are numbered. Um, or a power of attorney just to you, where you're going to get a check off and where it's made out in the claimant's name still and you're going to have to cash that, good luck getting the claimant to cash it and pay you at that point. So there's a lot of differences between, between our system and our partnership systems. Uh, we're the only ones that partner. And yeah, I do get this question a lot. Hey, if we're all going to win, right, by you putting a deal together, Sean, why do you charge for the program? Well, first of all, Program teaches you how to do it on your own, which that other people sell for $1,500. Ours is even stronger than what they're selling, and we sell for a third of that. But the second part of that is it cost me money to start somebody up and partner with them. In other words, our national surplus <coughs> and our national surplus funds program, you're re researching debt and turning that into us on our title worksheet, make sure we're good for title on the title side. And then we find them, put the deal together, hire the mobile notary or the attorney, pay you 8% of the gross amount being held by the court. Um, we do all the heavy lifting. Premier 16, uh, you also research the debt, but you also find the people and have a conversation just to find out if they're willing to speak with us. You don't negotiate. We negotiate. Of course, we still get the 10% up front. We do all that stuff, right? We hire the mobile notary, the attorney, um, and we negotiate the deal, get the contract signed and all that stuff for you. Of course, it's funny. Why wouldn't you start like that, right? Especially if we're teaching you how to do it on your own. And these other guys are charging three times what we are. Obviously, we're charging enough to defray the cost of starting you up because it costs us money. I have a crew of people that I'm paying to mail, call, get the contract signed, hire the mobile notary, hire the attorney. I have a crew of people that do that. I have a paralegal on staff, for goodness sake. Um, so, obviously, it's a completely different program. And it's designed for people to ease into it, right? A lot of people are telling you, you got to quit your job and you're going to make a million dollars. You know, we don't tell you that. We never tell you that. Look, learn the system, get it down, take it step by step, put a couple of bucks in your pocket. Once you're there, you can start doing it on your own if you want. Good Lord, don't quit your job and lose your benefits. That's silly, right? We have a live webinar coming up tonight. Uh, you can go to surplusfundsriches.net and click on webinars to look at that. Uh, I'm recording this on, uh, it's, it's not tonight, I'm sorry, it's tomorrow night. Uh, I'm recording this on Wednesday, I believe it's the 9th uh, or the 10th. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, once you've gone to the products page and read the Insider's Guide, the overview, give me a call, 
9398. Happy to talk to you.